<laughs> Top of the morning, friends and family. Whew, I got a really messed up story to tell you guys. It's it's pretty it's pretty messed up. I want to say flush really bad, but I'm not going to because I'm. Oh no, yeah, it's 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 flushed up. It's flushed up. Uh, I'm going to go pick up Hillary and the boys. They stayed at the festival last night. I came back here so I could edit and upload a vlog for you guys. And being that we're doing daily vlogs now, um, I just want to make sure that I share the experiences that stand out the most with me throughout the day. Because it's like, you know, when you're doing daily vlog or when you're doing any vlog, it's like you have your whole day. Obviously, you can't record and show everything within that 24 hours. Otherwise, the video would be 24 hours, right? That makes sense. It's common sense. So you pick the things that you really want to show. And I'm, of course, going to show the most real things to bring you along with what is actually my experience and share my true experience with you, which, oh my gosh, I forgot to put that out there so you can know which vlog this is, which is 300 and who knows. We've got some snakes that are hashing out downstairs, so we're going to end with that. But in between that awesomeness and me going to pick up the kids is going to be this fleshed up story, okay? Uh... I'm gonna get the fam. I'll be right back with this story. Flush, 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 flush. You having a chocolate chip cookie for breakfast over here? This is what happened when Daddy's not on the scene. This is what happened. Chocolate chip cookies Were for breakfast. Were you at home? Yeah, I was at home. I have one too. You got one too? Uh -huh. Where's my chocolate chip cookie at? Oh, you I don't have did. one too. I drove. I drove into Daddy, a. Daddy. Oh, hey, bud. Why are you wearing Eli's jacket? Hi, right, boy. You got paint on your hair. I gave him the cookie. Hillary is innocent. Hi. Hi. I drove into a cloud to get here. It's pretty not, cool. Uh, nice. I'm not wearing yours. You got a cookie too, Boosh? <laughs> Look at you, cookie I girl. Mine I didn't like it. And Cookies for breakfast. Look at these kids. Yes. You want some? What? You want a cookie? Oh uh, yeah, kind of. <laughs> I'm, I'm good. Dude, I've got, I've got a, a messed up story to tell you when we get home, dude. It's, it's, it's messed up. I'll tell you when we get home. Why? Just cause. Now I want to know. I know. I'll tell you when I get home. This is a real woman right here. She does. She's on video, fresh out camping. Doesn't care about taking a shower. She's eating her honey packet on camera. Doesn't care. <laughs> I've been, last night I was laying in bed and I was like, I really need some honey for my throat. <laughs> honey. Let me take you through what went down last night. This is my jacked up story. I get home from the festival. I come here, I editing, like the whole reason I came home, you know, come home, edit, get the edit done, and get something uploaded. Got it uploaded. I've been trying to listen to this Rogan podcast. Um, Bob Lazar, I believe. He's like the guy that worked at Area 51 back in the day, or south of Area 51, <laughs> like in the 80s, and got, um, like revealed some stuff and the governments have tried to shut him down like um and he has like the most credible story so far as far as you know extraterrestrial activity ufos and flying saucers and whatnot and like alien spacecraft basically which i by the way i'm not like some kind of alien spacecraft guy i, I just i'm just interested i'm just interested in that like rogan rogan has a ton of inter interesting guests and i've been trying to listen to this thing for like the last several <clears throat> nights i keep falling asleep you know halfway through it or whatever part way through it and then i pick up again where i left off and so I was doing that tonight. I was finished. I put the phone up there and I was just listening to it, falling asleep, laying here on the bed. I woke up at 4 a.m. Okay. And I was like, I'm going to listen to the podcast. You, know, you pick didn't up again. fall asleep listening to it. I think I did fall asleep listening to it, maybe. <laughs> you know, I did. I did. I fell asleep listening to it. And then I woke up at 4 and hadn't finished it. You know, so I started back where I had okay. left off. Mm -hmm. and I'm listening to it. And you know, sometimes when I do that and I have those dreams and those moments, like I, it's almost like I have out of body experiences mm -hmm. where it's like I'm not. <coughs> Right. So in those dreams, it's like, Too much fun. I, I can't, it's, it's almost like I'm like really, really tired in the dream. Like, it's, it's like, I'm, it's, I'm always, it's always like out of body. It's like, I just get up out of bed. You know, it's like, I'm still, I can't tell if I'm dreaming or not, or 
and it's just like uh and so it was like one of those mm -hmm. and so podcast sure is still playing so like, i still hear the podcast because it's playing so I hear, i'm hearing the podcast i get up i come up and and i come out in the hallway and just this this light is on this is the only light this is the only light i left on last night was just this light right here because mm -hmm. i was a little bit to be honest i was getting a little bit freaked out already like just listening to us if they were talking about just that whole thing so okay. And then that light goes out. Like, I can barely see it because my eyes are, like, super quiet and tired and closed. And it's pitch black. Like, it's dark. All the lights go out. And it, I get this idea in my head that, like, the government cut off the power. You know, because I'm, I'm, on, I'm, listening, I'm listening to this thing. And they're going to get on their secrets. You and millions of other people listening. Right, 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 right. Where, like, the, 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 okay. But that's what's happening in my head. And, like, it's okay. real in my mind. Like, I'm, like, okay. walking through it. It's dark. I'm trying to figure out how to turn something on. I try to get my cell phone light working. The podcast is still playing. I can't turn the light on on the, on the phone to get some light. And so I, I go, I, I go outside, I walk downstairs and I'm like, I get, I'm just going to get out of here. Like I, they cut the power to the house. Like I got to get out of here. I go down to the truck and then there's like these illegal aliens, like the, in my mind, they were illegal aliens. They were mm -hmm. milling around this truck on the other side of the fence, uh, this, this white panel van on the other side of the fence. What fence? The, the, the fence, the, just like down okay. below on the driveway. Mm -hmm. And I try to get in the truck and they see me like get in the truck. And they start kind of coming over and there's something different about it. It's like they're not, you know, they're, they're human, I mm -hmm. guess, but they're just like they're, they weren't mm -hmm. in my, you know, in some way. And I'm trying to start the truck and it won't start. And they're all coming surrounding the truck and I'm like, I'm trying to get out of there. And then, and then I wake back up right in the spot with the podcast still playing. But the podcast never stopped playing. Mm -hmm. Like it was, it was literally talking about stuff like. Have you re-listened to that part? The part when I was dreaming? Yeah. No, I don't want to. I should listen to it because maybe what was happening in that part of the podcast is what you dreamt was happening. I don't know, but it freaked me out because I don't, I was like, you know, I, the only, if you guys have watched like all these videos, you know, that one thing that really freaks me out is just like being afraid of irrational stuff. Like I get this irrational fear thing going and it's just like irrational. And that's what it makes me, I get afraid of the, of being afraid of rational things. Right. It's so ridiculous, but it just. Bigfoot. No, and big, I mean like <laughs> just just last, yeah, no, last night, last night, like. I was scared. Yeah. I was like, I woke up just scared, like to death, like a, in bed, just like. Creepy. Was like, okay, and then so... I start hearing little, like hear like the ice thing. Down. I'm just like waiting for something, something to walk by the door, like. <coughs> and it's just jacked, dude. I like felt Aww. so jacked up because like this is something real happened to this guy. You know, at least he's been his story has been. I don't know what the truth is, obviously. Right, you know, I, right. I don't. I, I speak only for the truths that are actually, really there, but. My, I guess my point is just just flushed. It, it was such a the vibe was just like Real I felt like I the, like those aliens had just been outside yeah. and like yeah. were had just been trying to like stop me from leaving in the truck. Right. And, and I was here by myself and it was just like <sighs> So you don't think you actually ended up, went down there. That was just I don't know. That's that was the thing that I didn't know. I think now that it was just a dream of course. Yeah. But I don't know. No, but I don't know. I don't know if I was up here like trying to jack with my phone. You know, while the podcast is playing, trying to make something happen. But you woke with it. up and it was still on the stand. No, I, I, I had taken it and laid it with me. Okay. I think at that point, I think that's the thing. I don't know if I was dreaming or not, and that's what that's the thing that Jack. That that's you the thing mean, that messes were, me up. You were either in a sleep where you were processing what you were listening to, and it felt really real, or you were just dreaming. I don't think you actually went outside. I've never seen you have a dream where you like get up and like are like moving around and walking in your dream. I've never seen that. Okay. Don't be scared. <laughs> I think that I should go back and listen to that part. I think you guys should all go listen to that podcast. And, and have scary dreams. Or not. <laughs> oh, man. I think that now you should listen to like meditation music or any of before a bed. You're freaking and me not out with podcasts. your dark silhouette. Oh. <laughs> I'm sure you guys are ready to see the clutch atch atch that hatched out down here. And one thing I wanna assure you guys that I'm not I'm not trying to grow out this mustache. It's not I'm not trying to do that. It's just it's just happening all by itself. Nothing, no control. I'm gonna have to shave it off because I don't, I don't, I don't want it there. But it's there for now. I'm just gonna have to deal with it. I'll have some time to shave it off a little bit later. Before I shave the clutch, I'll show you mom and dad. There's dad. He's a coral glow pied, possible yellow belly, possible yellow belly. 
Yellow Belly has yet to prove on his other clutch that he sired, but uh, I'm not ruling it out entirely. You know, one clutch longer than than waiting for this Yellow Belly to prove. I just, it's not sure. I don't, I just don't know. And it's a hard thing to tell Yellow Belly in a Coral Glow Pied, so maybe it's easier for some people. For me, not. But anyway, that's Dad. He's gorgeous. The King, Coral Glow Pied. Let's get Mom. She's gorgeous. She's a Purple Passion. This is Violet. And she is, well, she's just gorgeous. And Purple Passion, of course, is a combo between, an Alelic combo uh, between Phantom and Mojave. It's kind of a, it's in the BEL complex, Bell complex, Blue Eyed Leucistic complex, whatever you want to call it. And yeah, she's, she's gorgeous. And the fantastic thing about this, being an Alelic combo, Every baby, it's like a, it's like a super. You know, it's a homozygous kind of, but with two different genes, and uh, that means that none of the babies will be normal. They'll be all at least Phantom or Mojave, and possibly Coral Glows, and also they're all going to be 100% het for pied. Fancy that? Maybe some yellow belly in there. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Oh hi, T. What do you think about the snakey T? <laughs> all right, so. Definitely got some Mojave in here, and definitely some Phantom. This is going to be a tough one for me. Phantom and Mojave uh, is not necessarily the easiest thing to tell apart, especially for a new bass like me. So I'm going to figure it out, but I'm going to wait till they shed. And then we got one Coral Glow hiding in there, and that should be a male, because that the King is a male maker Coral Glow. And so that means that the rest of these are likely female. Well, not necessarily, but... but the chances of them being female is higher, and the chance of that being, the chance of him being a male is extremely high as well. So yeah, once he's shed out, we'll do a full video on this. And of course, don't worry, I haven't forgot about this one. I'm sure you guys haven't forgot about this one either. My favorite clutch of the season so far because they're all clowns, and looks like one of them, looks like one of them is shed out. Looks like this dude right here is shed out, and this dude or this girl that looks like a pastel inchy clown if I ever saw one. Come on, focus, you hong hong. And that looks like a pastel inchy clown if I ever saw one. Beautiful! Gorgeous! Mmm, yeah. Love me some pastel inchy clown, man, that's for sure. That's a gorgeous snake right there. I don't want to tease guys with that too, too much, though, because I'm not going to do the full clutch video until they actually shed out. But man, oh, it's going to be a nice, nice video to go through on that one. We hit like every combo that was possible with a clown, even a one normal clown and all kinds of other cool clown combos in there so that's gonna be a good one it's gonna be a good one looking forward to that i hope i didn't freak you guys out with my little uh my messed up story there of my little dream state and i definitely freaked myself out that's that's for sure and <laughs> it's been fun doing the daily vlogging so far because it's like it's challenging me to up my game and it, it keeps keeps the story going there's there's like this story that would be going constantly when I wasn't filming before, when I was just doing two videos a week. There was no way to connect them together, really. I was just creating like a new video, whereas these ones, the next day ties into the next day, ties into the next day, so it's like this constant story. And I like it. I like it. I'm enjoying it. It definitely takes a little bit of extra energy for the extra videos. I haven't really done Triple B TV yet or Freedom Breeder at the same time consistently yet. Obviously, nothing consistent. It's only been like a week of vlogs every day, so... But I'm going to keep doing it as long as I'm enjoying it, man. And I'm enjoying it, that's for sure. So I hope you guys are having a great day, whatever you're doing. And just just be thankful you didn't have this experience I had that I had last night. Because that was... that was Flushed. Or maybe you like getting freaked out. I don't know. I don't know what you guys are into. Maybe you guys are weird freaks like that. Have a good day.